Hey everyone, Dr. Frunke here with a really exciting unboxing video. Uh, this has got to be my most anticipated knife ever. Uh, so you'll see where it's come from here. You'll know that a few days ago I did my final diagnosis on the standard Curtis F3. And uh, I absolutely loved the knife, actually to the point where I bought my own. So this just got here in the mail. I've cheated a little bit and already opened it. I just shoved it all back in the box here to try to share this with you and show you kind of how this comes. So I've got my own F3 here. Covered up my address here. Uh, hopefully you can't read through it on there. So in any case, um, here we go, guys. So I opened it up already. I'll show you what comes in the box here. So first things first, he sent a couple of really nice patches along. I'm not much of a patch dude. I don't really put them on anything, but uh, hey, you know, every little piece of sw swag kind of counts, and I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then I kind of like the way he packages this. No uh, unnecessary foam or boxes. You know, that's everything that came in here. Yep, not even an invoice, not a receipt, not a hey how you doing kind of a letter but he wraps the knife up in this awesome t-shirt if you've bought one of these maybe you've experienced that oh man and here it is let me get this stuff out of the way here here is the Dr. Frunky special edition Curtis F3 oh my god we've got a green antique anodized titanium handle with his new milling pattern carbon fiber insert 787 carbon fiber right there I'm gonna need to ask him a little bit more about what that means so I can do that in the full review he did a uh, eggshell finish on the pivot there I'm not sure it's gonna come through very well on the video let me see if I can get that to focus here yeah, so definite work there on the pivot. He's got his standard uh, stonewashed blade, which is absolutely beautiful and excellent for everyday use. Is going to hide wear. This green finish absolutely sold me as soon as I saw it. Now, he did a knife a few weeks ago that had uh, a similar finish, basically this same finish, but it was the full slab sided. Uh, and I actually messaged him when he put that up and asked if it was for sale, but some uh, lucky guy bought it right out from under us all and got it really quickly. So um, I asked Dave, I was like, man, I really want one of your knives. I know you're working with carbon fiber. I'd love to see a carbon fiber knife. He has a, uh, a new set of that Blackwood carbon fiber. He put up a video on his Instagram of that knife getting ready to be shipped to Knife Center. If you're interested in that, check out Knife Center soon for that one. Um, but he and I went through a few details. He asked me kind of what I wanted on the knife, and um, I told him I love green titanium, I love copper, I know he's been working with that, and I love carbon fiber, and he was just like... He actually tried to make me uh, a, a custom, sort of customized knife with the carbon fiber, but it didn't really work out the way that we were hoping. I'll get into more of that in the final review of this knife, but uh, he managed to find one that he had already made, and man, oh man, is it spectacular. I could not have dreamt this up better myself. Uh, it has everything that I really, really wanted. You know, this finish is incredible. He calls it his antique green. I've seen some people describe it as the Statue of Liberty finish. I'm going to try to get this in nice high resolution here on the screen for you. Just a really cool finish. It's green, it's blue, it's bronze, it's stonewashed. It's going to hide wear, but it's also going to look really cool. It's on the backspacer, it's on the clip. All of it looks awesome, really awesome. And this milling has actually lightened up the knife quite a considerable amount. The uh, standard F3 comes in at about 6 ounces. I weighed this guy 5.3 ounces. So a lot of weight savings there, and it makes it a much more carryable knife. Uh, it may not seem like a whole lot, you know, 3 quarters of an ounce, but, you know, this makes it lighter than my hinderer. That makes it lighter than the zero tolerances. I mean, this makes it an easier knife to carry. 
And given how kind of compact it is, it needed to be a little bit lighter for me personally. I am thrilled to have this in my collection. This is officially the knife of the Dr. Frunky channel. This has all of my colors. As you know, I've been using my uh, sheath for my Maximet Mule kind of as my logo with the green and the black because I really like that combo. This is spectacular. This is that green and black without looking like a zombie hunter, you know, like Nick Shabazz has. So thrilled to finally have this knife in my hands. The transaction could not have been smoother. Dave could not have been more helpful or accommodating throughout the process. Shipped it very quickly, and I am so happy to have this. So definitely going to see this knife in a bunch of videos coming up. Uh, I'll get a full review after I carry it for a little while. And, uh, you know, if you enjoy my channel, guys, lots more to come. Um, been selling a few of my knives to get some funds to get a few new knives. This is number one on the list here. Uh, so a bunch more stuff to come. If you like my stuff, click like and subscribe. Some great content coming up. Thank you guys for watching. Look forward to a lot more info about this knife in the near future. As always, guys, this is Dr. Frunky saying take care.